Happy Monday. How you doing? Hey, happy blessing day. Today is blessing day. Today's the day we call for the blessing. Make sure you get the blessing spoken over you today. I want to talk to you today about why sickness may have a legal right to be in your body. Did you ever think of that? It may have a right to be there. I'm going to tell you how to take away that right, how to revoke the rights of sickness so it doesn't have a right to be in your body. Amen. Very important because if it has a right to be there, it'll not only stay there, but if you get rid of it, it will come back. We're going to stop that. Amen. Today is blessing day, the day you call for your blessing. And make sure when you do your offerings and donations today, and a lot of people do on Monday, and some of you do them over the weekend, make sure you call today to have the blessing, the word for word blessing spoken over your offerings and donations and your tithe, especially. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, we've got a lot of new people signing on and subscribing to our uh, YouTube channel right now and tuning in and calling me. And we welcome you. We're glad to have you as part of the Increase family, part of the blessing family, the blessed, the family of the blessed. Amen. And all of you, I consider you to be prayer partners. And I'm always ready to pray with our partners. The only thing I ask is that you watch one video a day. Watch one of these 15-minute videos a day. Don't tell me you don't have time. Because you do. Everybody, everything's a matter of priorities. You have time to watch one of these videos. It will increase your faith, quicken your spirit, and it makes it a lot easier for me to get your prayers answered. I don't just pray with people. I get prayers answered. I get people healed. I get finances increased. I break the curses and I speak the blessing. Nobody else is doing this. Tell everybody you know. This is such a unique ministry. Not only do I do all this stuff, but I'm available. Amen. I'm available to pray with you and to talk with you. Amen. I love to pray with our partners. Glory to God. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything works out for me. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Glory to God, huh? Hey, I have heard for years, people always say, sickness does not have a right to be in your body. How many of you know that's not always true? And I never thought about that. And people would say, sickness does not have a right to be in your body because your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Well, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, in the form of the Holy Ghost, lives inside your body, in your spirit, if you are born again, if you are reconciled by Jesus to God through the power of the Holy Spirit. If, that is, if you've had a born-again experience, the Spirit of God is inside you. But sickness and poverty may have a legal right to be in your life. So many people get prayed for. They get prayed for by people in church. Some of them get healed. Some of them get cured by doctors. Doctors cure people. God heals people. People get, and then the sickness comes back. The, the rate of, of people getting sick over and over and over again is just enormous. Sickness literally runs through families. Heart disease runs through families. 
Just because the doctors treat heart disease and the doctor says, okay, your heart is fine. A few years later, there you go again. Not me. And why is that? Because sickness does not have a legal right to be in my body. And when you call me, when you're sick, when you've got problems, do you know what the first thing I'm going to do is? I'm going to remove the legal right for sickness to be in your body. I'm going to remove that. If you're broke and you call me, I will remove the legal right for poverty to be in your life and in your family. Everything is subject to spiritual laws, including demons and devils and sickness and poverty. It's all subject to spiritual laws. That's why if you read through the Gospels very carefully, you will see that Jesus always went by the spiritual laws. He was subject to them. God Almighty, God himself is subject to spiritual laws. One spiritual law is a law of faith. It's a spiritual law. God made the law. It's a divine law. You get nothing from God without faith. It's impossible to please God without faith. Jesus said, you receive according to your faith. That's a law. That's the law of faith. And God himself has to go by that. If God, God has to operate within the parameters of faith. And he does. When God said light be in Genesis chapter one, he said it with faith. Those were faith filled words. Otherwise they would have had no effect. Everything God says is full of faith. Everything Jesus did and said, it was done with faith. That's why he was so successful. I mean, it's not just a coincidence that everything Jesus did turned out. It's because his faith was perfect. Jesus is the only person who ever walked on this earth whose faith was perfect. Amen. And a spiritual law is sickness cannot be in your body illegally. I'm going to say that again. Sickness cannot stay in your body illegally. It's subject to spiritual laws. Now, I'm going to write a book about this. I'm getting myself in a position now where I can do another book. And that's what it's going to be on. It's going to be on, on aspects of healing that nobody else has ever taught or ever thought about. <clears throat> but yet are very important. This is one of them. This is one of them. When that book comes out next year, It'll be out next year, sometime during the year, maybe next summer. Uh, you're going to be amazed at all the stuff in there that you've already heard because you watch these videos. Amen. And this is one of them. Now, when people call me and they say they're sick, the first thing they, I do is remove the legal right for sickness to be in there. Now, sometimes when I've prayed for people, they didn't get healed. I want to explain to you why. It's because apparently I did not have a legal right to pray for these people. That's very important. Somebody's laying in a hospital sick. 
a relative calls and says, Pastor Jim, so-and-so's in the hospital. And I pray over that about that person and speak about that person. But if that person said, I get sick all the time, or I can't get over this, or something like that, I can't override their words. I can break powers of the devil in their life, but I can't go against what they have said. And that's, now if that person themselves calls me, then I can break all those curses. We've had people healed off their deathbed with this virus, but they called me themselves or their family called me when the phone was right next to them. They got healed off their deathbeds, dying. Oxygen level going down, back up. Why? Because I said so. Through the power in the name of Jesus and the wonderful Holy Spirit, I by breaking the curse of the law and the generational curses, I remove the right, the legal right of sickness to be in your body. Then I tell your body that spirit of infirmity to come out. Then I say, be healed in Jesus' name and the sickness cannot come back. See how that works? I don't know why every preacher hasn't figured this out. So simple. I take away the legal right. That way, people can't. If you don't take away the legal right, it used to be that I didn't know enough to do this. And I would cast out these spirits of sickness from cancer people. They would get healed. Six months later, they had cancer in a different area. Because I didn't remove the legal right for it to be there. But now, since I've learned that, I do, and cancer doesn't come back. Heart disease comes, doesn't come back. The virus doesn't come back. And why? It can't come back unless it has a legal right to be there. Sickness cannot just come on you. It has to have a legal right. If I remove that legal right by breaking the curse, curses give Spirits of sickness, a legal right to be in your body. And if I break that curse, the sickness can't come back because it has no right to be there. And your body will stay healed. See how that works? Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to this channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. Please, especially people who are sick. I'll break these curses and get them healed and they will stay healed through the power in the name of Jesus and the wonderful Holy Spirit because I break the curses. And I break the legal right of sickness to be there. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Amen. Make sure you call me today to speak the blessing over you and make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations today because I want to bless you. We're getting down to the end of the year. I want you to be blessed. I am determined to use the power of God, the wonderful name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit to make sure all my partners during this next year are living a curse-free, blessed life. And you will be amazed at what happens in your life. Share this with everybody. I love you very much, more than I can ever tell you. Call me. I want to get your prayers answered. And I want to speak the blessing of the Lord over you through the name of Jesus.